share it with you now because it isn't completely finished but it's nearly finished and I was just so excited at how it came out I just wanted to share it with you so first thing that you won't have seen before or you might have done actually on Mumtaz's dress coat I'll look at my box oh, that's a bit squashed look at my box can you see the box shoulder sleeves I think they've come out so well you want a close up so I adapted so we go straight into it <laughs> I adapted our raglan and sleeve pattern on the bucket coat because this is our bucket coat Ooh, this is our bucket coat sewing pattern so I've adapted the sleeves so that it has the box shoulder or box sleeve. So this sleeve, <laughs> see how speechless I am. So this sleeve, I've been trying to like simplify it so it can be like a, an add-on onto the bucket coat. So instead of using the raglan sleeve, you would use this box shoulder box sleeve instead it's kind of like a ski slope thing there this one's gone a bit squashed take it out. but i'm really excited about it so let me stand back so i will do like proper more details or will i maybe i will maybe i won't so as i said this is my birthday bucket coat every birthday it seems i make a new bucket coat now I've only got 30 of the bucket, I did a rerun print, a reprint of just a limited um, run of the bucket coat pattern in paper. We've got loads in PDF of, anyway, my coat, look. Now I've got a big surprise. Oh look, you saw a bit of it. I've got a big surprise at the back, which I'll come closer. Oh, that looks so awful. Um, which I can also do as a tutorial if you want um shall i show you no i'll show you nearer the end so you carry on watching it for a bit longer anyway look look at these oh please don't look at me can you see can you see so i like a crazy person i made my own bias binding using some silk organza um, and one of those little bias binding maker things just did it whilst watching TV. Do you want to see some of it actually? Oh, please don't look at my nails. I really wasn't going to do this today. So look. So I made 12 metres. I've got some left over. I made 12 metres of it so that I could do that kind of thing inside. And for these bits here, which you can't see because they're so bright, look. Anyway, should we have a look at the... So this is fabric that I've had, I'm sure, since the 80s. And it is a quilted, quilted, lovely, paper. Look, can you see? I don't know, can you see? Does it look too bright? Um, it's a, oh, don't look at my nails. <laughs> it's a quilted paper fabric. So whilst that's really great, yeah, it's really great, isn't it? But you know what? You can't press it because it completely disintegrates and all that you're left with is wadding. But that's okay, that's fine. Now, another thing that I've done, apart from the big surprise that's on the back, that I'm saving till the end and I'm trying to make it that I don't have to edit this film so it can be uploaded really quickly 
is the facing. So instead of having the facing, so it goes inside, I've done it so that the facing, see look, all the way down. Can you see that? So the facing I've folded back so it's on the outside. Now that does cause a problem for where, where do you trap, where do you trap your little triangle bits, you see? So what I've done is, <laughs> God, is this terrible? What, what I've done is I've done a little loop. I just carried on the bias binding, kept going and let it loop back on itself. In fact, look, there's one of those inseam uh, new with the inseam pocket bucket bits, which you must make smaller because they're enormous. So I'm still not showing you the back yet because I'm going to try and keep you there nearer to the end. What's the other thing that I wanted to say? Yeah, on the black one, I did do the uh, welt pockets and I was tempted to do it on here, but I quite like, once I turned out the facings, out this way, so it's like a, a panel that goes down. So very good functioning pockets inside those buckets. What else did I want to show you? Oh yeah. So, oh, don't look at me. So, so that stand-up collar, I'm thinking of stuffing it. You know, like with the stuffed crust pizza, I've got one of my favourite tops that I made on holiday out of a 60s dressing gown, colourful one. I uh, can't remember which video I've worn it in. You might have seen it before. And that's got like a stuffed stand-up collar. Do you think I should do that? So we're getting close to the back. So we're getting close to the back. So I want to know, I know I've got stripes across me from the, the blinds. I want to know, what do you think about my box shoulder? Okay, I think it's come to the time now. I keep looking over there and I'm supposed to look there. So I'm gonna stand back so you can have another look. Oh, something I wanna say actually about the length of the bucket coats. So, when you make your bucket coat, there's a line there where you cut it and you lengthen it there, yeah? So you just, you cut it, you spread it, um, you know, like two inches or something, and then you just stick paper in there, yeah? And you just sew the side seams just as normal. Now, I think these bucket coats do look more elegant Longer, but you can't see because I'm oh, squashed with flowers. Oops, <laughs> um, I'm not completely in the frame. Anyway, they look much more elegant longer. So I'm five, all of five feet tall. So if you're taller than that, I think you really are going to want to lengthen it, and it makes such a difference. Okay, so it's now come to the time of seeing the back. Now, I'm not necessarily saying that I think it looks really good on the back of this, but because I spent quite a lot of time doing it, I thought, well, I'll stick it on the back of this. So do you think that's too much? It doesn't really matter. <laughs> Can you see? So I haven't like tacked it. Uh, can you see? There's no ball. So I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if you can see it properly, but is that too much? And do you want a close look as well? And would you like to know how to do it? Many of you will already know how to do it. But if it wasn't on a bucket coat, yeah, it's a bit creased. If it wasn't on a bucket coat, you can make a really nice little cropped, raglan sleeve kind of jacket that'd be nice wouldn't it so that's the coat that i made for my birthday i haven't completely finished it but it will whoop, it 
will more or less look like this. So two things, two things. Let me know what you think of my box shoulder. Yeah, do you like it? Is it a wearable thing? Could it be good on a dress? So that's the back. So that's the back. So let me know what you think about the, the smocky back. The way, the way that I did that was I kind of got about maybe even a meter square and I just worked on the middle area of it because I didn't really know what I wanted it to turn into. So I just worked on an area in the middle where I knew I'd have enough for a flounce at the bottom and at the top, not knowing what I was going to do. Um, yeah, and then I just laid the, the back piece of the bucket coat on there. And, oh, I don't know if I can show you actually. No, can I show you? So the, the frill bits, oh, can I show you? So look, the frill bits, <clears throat> they don't go all the way into, the frill bits, they don't go all the way into the bucket, look. They go probably about, oh, I don't know, three inches? Is that 10 centimeters? Into, into the line of, you know, the horizontal line of, of the bucket. But, but look, you can't, can you see that? <laughs> you can't see where they finish, can you? Thank you very much. Um, I've made this for a birthday that's coming up on International Women's Day, actually. I am thinking about doing a livey thing on International Women's Day, but I feel like I'm always saying that. If I do do it, it will have to be in the day, maybe two o'clock um, Greenwich Mean Time. Is that GMT? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I might have to confirm that. Thank you so much for watching. And... Hope you like. My birthday. My birthday bucket coat. Anyway, I think I've waffled on enough. Um, thank you so much for watching. I might see you on International Women's Day, the 8th of March, if I can do a live thingy at two o'clock GMT, Greenwich Mean Time. Bye.